Just across the street from Marvin Field lies a house that's ready for a brand new life. Burlington's affordable housing program is making its way to 117 South Bedford Street, one of 14 houses given to the town of Burlington by the United States military. I paid a visit to the work in progress home and spoke with selectman Mike Runyon about the history of the home and the town's affordable housing program. You know, Burlington has long been recognized as a leader in affordable housing. Uh, in fact, we're one of only 36 communities uh, to, to receive the uh, housing choice designation from DHCD, so we're quite proud of that. This particular home we're, we're talking about today is part of a 12 or 14 houses that the town received from the United States military back in the mid-90s. It was declared surplus. And we've had a very, very successful first-time home buyer program here. Unfortunately, this house fell into terrible disrepair. I'm sorry, to, I don't know how else to say it, but we had a very bad tenant in here. So it uh, left us with a, a great big mess here that we have to clean up and get repaired. The house is set to be restored back to its original standing, coexisting alongside its neighboring homes. So basically we're just going to replace what was broken. We're not changing the footprint of the house, we're not adding any additions or anything else like that. This is a nice little three bedroom, uh, one bathroom ranch, uh, about 1,200 square feet, small by today's standards, but um, absolutely adequate for, for a young family who wants to get their foot in the door uh, here in Burlington. Many community members, from town organizations to volunteers, have contributed to this project, making another great example of what makes the town of Burlington stand out and why the town is well known in the state of Massachusetts for their affordable housing program. We're fortunate here in Burlington. We've got a lot of community pride and a lot of talented people here in Burlington. You can tell already that a lot of the demolition work was done. That was done by uh, uh, Mike Wynn, who owns USA Demolition, Burlington guy. I had Jack Wathall from Titan Oil come in and remove the, uh, the old oil tank and the oil furnace. I've got a number of folks lined up. I've got a number of people, uh, Jim Martin from Jim Martin Landscaping. I know I'm going to forget somebody, but I've got a whole bunch of uh, uh, friends and uh, uh, Burlington residents, a lot of, lot of volunteers from the American Legion and the uh, VFW uh, will be down here to help. We're in pretty good shape help-wise, I think. While there aren't any more homes ready for a revival at the moment, Selectman Runyon says that the town of Burlington would take initiative right away if more houses were in need. Boy, if there was another opportunity to pick up 12 or 14 houses, we'd be, on, we'd be right on top of it, John. I, I tell you what, like I mentioned earlier, Burlington has been a leader in, in affordable housing. Uh, recognized uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as a leader. We, we continue to look for ways to address the affordable housing needs here in town. We've got a great working relationship between the Board of Selectmen and the uh, Planning Board. Projects have been permitted. We continue to look for um, affordable housing opportunities for the town. From 117 South Bedford Street, this is John Vias for B News Weekly.